Vern Bang, Recipe Slang, and Mook Bang, and subscribe. And this is Vern Bang. Not a pro. You be a hoe. We're going to be banged it out in this episode. Chisel and Nizzle. Wick Tastic. It's magic. Some of them are cinnamon type of. Some of them episodes. It's your boy, Vern Bang. We're going to try the. And that's why cooking from my soul is the way I go on this multiple mukbang channel. We'll be back for more episodes. Hey y'all, this is Vern Bang. So anyways, hopefully y'all can see good. So anyways, how y'all doing today? This is Vern Bang, and we're coming out with you with the recipe video. It's a cooking with Vern Bang. So anyways, uh, we're just doing a simple recipe. We're doing like a, like a simple chicken taco. Uh, just simple boiled chicken. We're gonna season it moderately, and then you can use it for several different meals, several different applications during the week. You know, because it's hot everywhere. I'm trying to uh, hopefully one of these will come by and cool us down. But you know, just something simple that you can cook at night while it's not so hot. You can boil on top of the stove the chicken, and I did chicken breast. And so, anyways, uh, peace. Hope you enjoy this recipe. And, uh, so yeah, so like I said, and then when you get to the end of the video, you'll see just the basic preparation and you can go with, uh, regular chicken tacos, you can go with, uh, taquitos or rolled chicken tacos as they call them now, uh, quesadillas, taco salad, uh, man, oh man, possibility endless. And then the big mind blower. If you really want to get simple with it, you can just go get you a rotisserie chicken at HEB. You don't have time to cook your own chicken. Pull that sucker apart and do the same concept. But anyways, oh yeah, and you can make enchiladas. Uh, what else can we make? Uh, and it's simple. And I mean, it's be in your fridge, ready to go when you get home. Like 10 minute prep, boom, you're eating. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Stay tuned. Peace. Stay trill. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell to be notified. And uh, stay trill. This is Cooking with Vern Bang. Peace. All right, y'all. This is Vern Bang. So we're back with another episode. So anyways, we got the pot going. And uh, so, yeah. So, I got my frozen chicken stock that I made last time. So, we're going to take this out, the bag, and all I do is pop it out of the bag. I start playing with the bag. Make sure we get all the plastic from around it. Alright, so, anyways... So I got all the plastic from around it, very easy. And so we're going to turn the fire on. Turn that that way a little bit. All right, so we're going to turn the fire on. We're going to get this going and then we'll be back. We're going to add our chicken in. And instead of using plain water, like I said, I'm using this homemade chicken stock. Uh, all my chicken stock are very low seasoning, very low sodium. Uh, because I'm doing like a one pot, one pot to cook the meat a certain way, which we're going to boil the chicken and their chick split chicken breast. And so we're, we're going to use this for several different recipes. So this is just the easy way. Now, if you're off one day and you want to make several different meals throughout the week, so we're going to do chicken tacos, uh, Yada yada yada. You can make lasagna, you can make enchiladas, you can make tamales, you can make, yeah, endless possibilities with this recipe. So we got our stock, we're going to get it defrosted, and then we're going to add our chicken breast and a onion.
opinion. So we'll be back with that. All right, peace. This is cooking with Burn Bang. So we're gonna get our chicken in. So I'm using uh, split chicken breasts. And these are still a little icy because I set them out for a while and that way I can get them out of the pack. And so we got our nice broth that I had made and thawed out in this pot. We're going to put our chicken breasts in and we're going to boil everything. So this stock will get nice and richer. It's going to be a nice chicken stock because uh, I'll feed some of this to the, the babies too. Some of the meat with the broth to mix with their dog food. And then we'll make uh, a couple of different dinners out of this as well. Like I said, we're going to do tacos, chicken tacos, and some other dishes that you'll see later on in the week. And we got our onion just to add some flavor. And like I said, we're not going to go really heavy on any type of seasoning because we want it to have a very mellow flavor. Uh, that way we can use it in several different applications. So, let me go ahead and wash my hands real quick. All right, so I got my hands washed. And if you're a day one -er, you know, this is my go-to Greek seasoning. So we're going to add a little bit of this in here for flavor. That's about it. And when we make chicken tacos, I'll use the taco seasoning packs. Uh, and so this will be a nice mild flavor. It has a mixture of salt and garlic powder, onion powder, and whatever oregano yeah so anyways that's what it looks like and we'll be back for more as Vern bang and hopefully yeah this is cooking with Vern all right y'all peace All right, uh, it's the Vern Bang, we're back. So basically, so once you cook it, you cool it down, and then I put it in the fridge overnight. That's pretty much what you get. So you got your fat on top that you can scoop off. I saved that, it's good to reuse. Uh, it's, so anyways, I uh, reuse it just like oh, any type of oil you'd use. It's very good in uh, homemade tortillas and everything. So I'm going to show you just the basic recipe. Uh, we got our taco seasoning. And this is just, this whole recipe was just basic. Because from here you can go tacos, you can go enchiladas, you can go taquitos, you can go roll chicken tacos or endless possibilities. Taco salad, tamale. Of course, you want to back them up with some good salsa verdes. You can do some enchilada, rojo, some different sauces. So, anyways, I got a pan on the stove, which we'll go to the stove mode in a little bit. But I'm going to show you how to do this chicken. So, why this? And the reason you want to let it cool overnight is I do the, I did this in advance. Uh... And these are big old chicken breasts. You'll see. Yeah, look. <laughs> yeah, look how big these breasts are. But yeah, I'm going to pull this skin off. We're going to save these for the babies. They love them. Me chihuahuas. And then we're going to go to the back. And I like to pull all this bone out first. So I start pulling the bone. And basically, we're going to take this meat... And put in the pan. I got a pan over here you can't see. 
in just big chunks. And see how nice and tender. I think I boiled it for a couple hours. Uh, I just kind of know what I want it to look like. Uh, and you just want it to fall apart. So uh, you want it to fall apart without falling apart in all the stock, pretty much. So it's just uh, trial and error there. Yeah, and see, they got these big pieces of chicken. This is all, like I said, split chicken breast. So, yep, yep, yep. So, I'll take these big chunks out first. That way, we don't get any bones and stuff in our meat. But yeah, it's still got some meat on there. I usually have a little bowl on the side where I'll do for the dogs so and I'll put all those little extra little bits that you don't want in the chicken but the dogs do love it like these the dogs do love it so I save it for them and they do eat their dog food when I give them like food like this the chihuahuas um, but I'll put a little chicken meat and I'll put a little of the stock in their uh, gluten-free dog food. But yeah, see, all that is meat now. I took all the bones out. So basically, you know, I try to break it up a little bit. Because like I said, this is already cooked and you see how, I mean, this is just like butter. Butter, butter. And basically, all you want to do is reheat this. You don't want to stir too much. And you can do as much chicken as you want, as little. I'm going to add some of the stock in here as well. So uh, I'm going to wash up and we'll move to the stove cam. And we'll show you the final product. y'all can see everything pretty good so I got this on like three and a half you can put it on three like I said you don't want it too much and it's easier to do this like I said if you let it sit overnight and let it cool down and then put it in the icebox once it gets cold enough or cool enough to put in the icebox uh, so right now this is the easy part and you can season it any way you want. I just like going with these low sodium uh, taco seasoning because it's got everything in it. I get them at all these for like 22 cents to 28 cents. This is the Aldi's brand. They're really good and it's got everything in it. Uh, and like I said, these are the low sodium ones. And then I'm gonna get a spoon. And I'll go through and I'm gonna skim a little of this nice stock that's been sitting at the top that's very clear uh, there's a little fat up here but not much and I'm add a little stock in there you don't want to add too much because this gelatin has become a liquid once it heats up so just add a little bit at a time so yeah Then we got tortillas. If you're gonna do, like I said, tacos, taquitos, quesadillas, you can use flour tortillas. Endless possibilities. So, anyways, I'm gonna we're gonna sit here and let this heat up, and this will be your final product. Hopefully, everybody liked this recipe. It's just 
a basic how to to make it comfortable for you or home your family just showing you how I do it and like I said I cooked this at night when it was cooler uh, so if y'all having heat problems and stuff where y'all at y'all can do the same put it in your crock pot but I like doing it on the stove because it's just easier so yeah you just like I said and that's why you don't want to stir too much because it keeps breaking down that's why I leave it in big chunks and you stir it a couple times it breaks down a little more and then that way if you break it down too fine then you get it you have too fine of a chunk but it's whatever you want so yeah this is basically the finished product I'm gonna let this heat up I'm gonna make what I'm gonna make with it and this is cooking with Vermbang. We'll catch you on another episode.